Hi viewers, this is Venkataman Sagar, instructor from ERISET from Networking Lab. Today in this video I am going to show you the hardware portion of the router. After watching this video you will be able to identify various interfaces of the router and their functionalities. So let us start with the Cisco 1800 series router. This is the most widely used router in the Indian Railway. The model number you can find here, Cisco 1800 series. And in the front panel you cannot find any interfaces, only two indications are given. One is system power indication and the other one is system action button indication. From this 1800 series, 1841 series is the most widely used router for PRS, UTS, POIS and other applications. Almost at every message station we can find this router. In the front panel you cannot find any interfaces. You have to see the back panel. This is the back panel of the Cisco router. This is the model number exactly. Cisco 1841. This is the chassis of 1841 router. And here you can find the power module. It works on 230 volts AC. So we can directly insert the power. 230 volts AC and here there is a power button to switch on the router and switch off the router and uh, do remember in order to insert any module into the router or take off any module from the router you have to switch off the router and after that you can see slot 1 and here is this slot 1 contains highway uh, high speed WAN interface cards and here you can see the fast ethernet ports, two fast ethernet ports are there, console port is there, auxiliary port and USB port is there, one so security key is there and this is a, another WAN interface with two terminals and there is a flash. The router comes with uh, universal slots. And here, this slot can, slot 0, this is the number slot 0 and this is slot 1. So, if the router is having more slots, then the numbering will be like this, the right uh, starting from right to left, 0, 1, if more slots are there, 0, 1, 2, 3, like that. And all these are universal slots. Why they are universal slots? Because any kind of module can be inserted into this slot. So, this slot accepts. Uh, serial ports, it, is, it also accepts the uh, Ethernet ports or voice cards, any type of module can be inserted. That's why it is universal slot. And here, in particular, this router is using the high speed WAN interface cards. So, the card can be inserted like this. But before inserting any card, the power must be switched off. When we insert a card into this slot, this is HWIC 2T card. You, you can see the card name here, HWIC 2T. HWIC means High Speed WAN Interface Card. 2T stands for two terminals. These are the two terminals. And the terminal numbers also from bottom to top. Bottom one is Serial 0 and top one is Serial 1. So, the nomenclature of this port will be 0 oblique 0 oblique 0. The first 0 indicates the entire chassis, second 0 indicates the slot number, third 0 indicates the port number. Similarly, the port above it is 0 bar 0 bar 1. So, chassis 0, slot 0, port number 1. Similarly, 0 bar 1 bar 0, 0 bar 1 bar 1. We can see 4 ports are available here. These two are fast Ethernet ports, they are just like our switch ports and this is the console port to access the router and this is auxiliary port. So in the console port, the specially designed cable only to be used. So the console cable comes in blue color like this, it will be having RJ45 on one side and on the other side it will be having a DB9 connector. It is to be connected in the COM port of your computer or laptop and the RJ45 is to be connected here in the console port. So by connecting like this, we can open the high power terminal on your PC and then we can access the router. So 
This console port is administrative port and it is very sensitive port in the router. Using this port we can configure the router. We can make any changes in the configuration of the router also. These two are the switch ports. These are the fast ethernet ports 0 bar 1 and this is 0 bar 0, 0 bar 0, 0 bar 1. So normal RJ45 jack can be inserted into this port and it is connected on the other end to your LAN side, LAN switch. So basically it is our LAN port and this port only is going to act as a default gateway for our local area network. So when it is connected, here it will show three indications. The top one is FDX. FDX indicates full duplex mode communication. If this light is blinking means FDX, it is working on full duplex mode. If it is in the off condition, it indicates off duplex condition mode. And here 100 is written. 100, if this light is blinking, then it is working on 100 Mbps. That is fast Ethernet mode, otherwise on 10 Mbps mode. And the link status will be showing blinking if there is a data transfer. Here there is a USB port here provided on the Cisco router but here you cannot use your normal pen drive or any other USB accessories but here a specially designed uh, USB accessories from the Cisco can be inserted here just for upgradation or to uh, or for any other configurations directly we can do through the USB port and uh, using the specially designed cable we can configure the Cisco router just this USB can also be used as a console port and here Kennington security slot also provided this is to uh, secure the entire router by using this uh, security slot we can lock the router to any other computer or desktop or any other rack and finally we can see the compact disk over here and here this compact disk can be removed by pressing the button just given beside it so we can take away this flash so this flash is of 128 MB RAM flash is 128 MB so 128 MB OS is there this is just like a computer as the computer needs OS this router also needs OS that is iOS. The iOS is present in this flash. So unless we insert this flash memory into the uh, system, we cannot switch on the router. The router cannot be booted. So this is a must. Okay. There are fans provided on this router for cooling purpose. Three fans on the other side inside the uh, chassis and all these are automatically controlled by temperature sensors so based on the temperature uh, the fans the number of fans will be one two three automatically they will be switched on and off so you need not to uh, worry about the fans but only thing is ventilation should be there okay similarly based on our requirement any voice modules or ethernet ports or any other modules can be inserted into this universal slot and it can be utilized and this is all about the router hardware and software part can be seen in next video thank you